A little nepotism never hurt nobody, honey. If you got it, use it. Press on with it. Remind them of it. I made a promise to myself, to be kinder to other people. Don't be afraid to feel, as angry or as loving, as you can, because when you feel nothing, it's just death. Always be smarter, than the people who hire you. The naked female body, is treated so weirdly in society. It's like, people are constantly begging to see it, but once they do, someone's a hoe. I found out along the way, that, they like you a little imperfect. My identity is very clear to me now, I am a black woman. It's ill becoming for an old broad, to sing about how bad she wants it. But occasionally we do. I was unique in that, I was a kind of black, that white people could accept. I was their daydream. I had the worst kind of acceptance, because it was never for how great I was, or what I contributed. It was because of the way, I looked. Every color I can think of, and nationality, we were all touched by Dr. King, because he made us like each other, and respect each other. It's so nice to get flowers, while you can still smell the fragrance. As much as I try, when I open my mouth, Lena comes out, and I get so mad. I want to sing like Aretha Franklin. Before her, I wanted the technical ability, of Ella Fitzgerald. In my early days, I was a sepia Hedy Lamar. Now I'm black and a woman, singing my own way. It's not the load, that breaks you down, it's the way you carry it. Carry it by the comfortable handles of gratitude, for what's positive and that it is not worse, rather than the uncomfortable edges of bitterness, for the negatives and that it is not better. I'm not alone, I'm free. I no longer have to be a credit. I don't have to be a symbol to anybody. I don't have to be a first to anybody. The best thing about living is the chance to keep on doing it. You have to be taught to be second class. You're not born that way. But the slanting process is so subtle that you frequently don't realize how you're being slanted until very late in the game. I remember the day Dr. King died. I wasn't angry at the beginning. It was like something very personal in my life, had been touched and finished. I was lucky, as many of my generation was, in having a man like Dr. King in our lives. He came at a time, that we needed to take a long look at each other, and see how similar we were. Music became my refuge, and then my salvation. After I got over the terrible pain, of having something of mine taken from me, I began to think, how bad everybody else must be feeling. It wasn't a nice time. I don't have to be an imitation of a white woman, that Hollywood sort of hoped I'd become. I'm me, and I'm like nobody else. Nobody black or white who really believes in democracy, can stand aside now. Everybody's got to stand up and be counted. I'm still learning, you know. At 80, I feel there is a lot I don't know. I really do hate to sing.